Since I've been making foundation free makeup tutorials, I wanted to share this topic more in depth. Whenever I introduce myself to new people, I say I create a makeup tutorials without foundation. Normally people are surprised and say how is it possible. I kind of want to break that stereotype through my channel and say that you could create a beautiful look without foundation. And even you look good with or without makeup. I don't think there's anything wrong with using foundation and putting on makeup. I love makeup and beauty products, that's why I started my YouTube channel. I sometimes wear full makeup on on special occasions or just depending on my mood. And also I've been creating a makeup tutorial with using a foundation. But if you feel that you have an unhealthy relationship with foundation or heavily rely on makeup than you like, this video can be helpful to build a healthy relationship again with makeup. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience going foundation free, some benefits and some other tips for going foundation free or achieving foundation free look. So what is foundation free? It is simply not wearing foundation, but there is no official or written definition. But for me, it is not only foundation free, but also cushion foundation free or BB cream free. An ideal concept of foundation free is about accepting and embracing your natural complexion. When I decided to go to foundation free, it was a point that I had to only focus on studying to pass an exam for university. Everything that we do takes time and energy like choosing what to eat, even what to wear. I love makeup and beauty products, but I had to choose what to focus more on because I needed to make more time and energy for my study and other purposes. So I quit not only wearing a foundation but also wearing a makeup every day. When I wore a makeup at the time, I used only concealer, blush, mascara, some lipsticks and that's all. And it was a time when I had a break from YouTube as well. During that time, I naturally became more conscious of my skincare routine, so I started to focus more on skincare. But I didn't use many products, it was very simple. In the morning, I used toner, essence, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And at night, I use cleanser, or sometimes I do exfoliate, and toner, serum, cream and that's all. With this routine, my skin condition was the best it ever was. I've definitely changed my approach to skincare and makeup from that period and I realized that I need to take care of my skin first before doing a makeup. After taking a break from my makeup for 9 months, I built a relationship again with makeup. Even wearing a mascara seems a pretty big change for my bad face, so I become choose more natural looking makeup products. After two years now, I feel really comfortable with my own skin. Being foundation free makes me so comfortable mentally and physically throughout the day because sometimes when we are out, we just want to go home and remove our makeup as soon as possible. So what are benefits of going foundation free? First one is self-confidence. There are many ways to boost our self-confidence. Sometimes on a special occasion, I can boost my self-confidence with wearing full makeup. But also I can gain self-confidence in other ways when I go out foundation free. It allowed me to offset my own natural complexion. Now I focus less on how I look compared to the past. Whether I wear makeup or not, I do not care about it and other people's look as well. And second benefit is skin health. I believe that I am less likely to have pimples or white tests when I do not wear foundation rather than when I wear. I cannot say foundation club force 100% because it all depends on what kind of skin type you have or what kind of foundation you use. But if you have acne prone skin, oil based or liquid foundation is likely worse than acne. But surely if you don't cleanse makeup properly or if you sleep in makeup or foundation, it will likely to large in a plug pores which helps acne causing bacteria grow. And third benefit is lifestyle change. Your natural skin is rebuilt and you will naturally see how to make it look evener 
or healthier by making lifestyle changes. In my case, if I don't sleep well or sleep very few hours, my skin looks so dry and dull. By going foundation free, I start to have more regular and healthier lifestyle to make my skin condition better, which is the good base for my makeup. Now I'm gonna share tips for going foundation free and achieving foundation free look. The first tip is find the skincare that suits your skin. As your natural skin is rebuilt, you could feel kind of your naked, embarrassed, and awkward, but take your time and be patient to find the right skincare journey. There are so many skincare products and skincare routines out there, so you might be overwhelmed, but just remember these three basic skincare products, cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Wearing sunscreen every day is very important to prevent skin aging, skin cancer, and growing acne. And second tip is keep makeup applicator hygiene. As we might use other makeup products if set foundations, so it is very important to keep everything clean and hygiene to get a good result of going foundation free. If you stop using a foundation and see good result after a few days, that may be because of makeup applicators like sponge, brush, or other makeup applicators. This happens a lot especially for makeup beginners because no one tells us how to clean. We only focus on how to do makeup rather than that kind of things. So clean them ideally once a week or every other week. So third tip is this is mainly about mindset. Just remember you don't need to be perfect. I used to think that I have to cover all blemishes I have and dark circles perfectly. It would end up being cakey with layering a lot of concealers and foundation. When I was in my early 20s, I wanted to make my skin tone lighter with using lighter shade foundation than my own natural skin. So now looking back, it looks so unnatural and I just kind of hide all complexion I have. So in my case, it took around one to two years to be completely okay with my own natural complexion. I've asked my viewers who have been going foundation free to ask their result and there are so many emails I got and amazing stories I really want to share. And also there are some of them who want to share on their tips go foundation free. So I'm gonna share some tips of them. The fourth tip is slowly is amount of use of foundation. This is a tip from Vivian and thank you so much Vivian for sharing your tips. She started by only putting the side of nose, chin, and forehead and after she got used to how she looks like without foundation so she really really appreciates of her natural complexion. This is what I did. I slowly is amount of use of foundation normally dark circle around my eyes around my lips and last tip is use other makeup products if set foundation i've been creating various makeup tutorials without using a foundation and you will see it looks like a proper makeup just enjoy using other makeup products and you will realize how other makeup products can make you look different and it still looks good yeah this is all i want to talk about foundation free today i've been really wanting to talk about this topic more in depth so it takes quite a long time to prepare around two or three weeks so i hope this video very helpful and if my viewers share their foundation free experience and journey so i want to share all of their amazing stories so i create a website to share so i will put the website link down below on the description box so you could check it out Shout out to all of them who shared their amazing experience and thank you for being an inspiration for me and for other people. I hope you find this video helpful for your foundation free journey and embracing your natural self. And again, just remember, you don't need to be perfect. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!